everyone, today we are going to be looking into September's Honey Honey themed So Hayley Jane boxes. Hello everyone, I hope you are having a really lovely day. Today is unboxing day, the boxes went out. We did have a bit of a mission on our hands because of the Royal Mail strikes we tried our very best and I'm so pleased that we were able to get the boxes packed up and ready to go three days earlier than usual. So most of our lovely subscribers in the UK received their box yesterday. So today is Thursday the 8th of September. So normally today would be the day we would normally ship, but we managed to get them out on Monday. So most of our UK customers got their box yesterday. Um, so I thought I would bring you a slightly earlier than usual unboxing and I'm so excited. These boxes are just, oh, I love them so much. And I know I say that most months, but this month particularly, I'm so happy with these boxes. So let me start by showing you the classic box, which honestly was full to bursting and it took quite a bit of muscle to get everything packed. We had to really squash down the boxes to get them closed, um, but I think it was worth it. So the theme for this month, September, I normally go for a sort of back to school theme, but I obviously don't want to do the same kind of themes every year. So this year I went for something a little bit different and I actually can't really tell you where the theme sort of came from in the first place. Sometimes that happens, sometimes there's a real like, obvious starting point for boxes. Um, but this month, everything just kind of all came together and created a theme and I'm really happy with it. So we've gone for Honey Honey as the theme of the box. So obviously we've got bees, we've got waffle, we've got honey, we've got honeycomb. So the sweet treat this month was crunchies. And they are so good. As soon as they arrived, Andy and me obviously had to sample one or two. Um, but yeah, crunchies are honeycomb, hence the connection. I do like to try and get the sweet treat to kind of fit the theme where I can. Doesn't always happen, but this month was perfect. So every box gets a magazine. I'm not gonna go into lots of detail, but there's loads of inspiration. There's the three months, three, uh, three boxes, three makes, feature where I send Gemma, Laura and Esther the fabrics that are going to be in the boxes about a month in advance. They make something and they write about it so that you have some instant inspiration of what you can make with your boxes. Um, and then Tamlin from Sewn on the Time, she gets the fat quarters in advance and she creates a little project for you as well. Um, so, and we will be doing our YouTube live sew along I haven't got the date set just yet, but um, we did the lanyards last month from the Spots and Dots box. It was really good. So we're gonna be making this again. And this is a little gift bag, perfect for gifts, for packing up your gifts, anything that you want to make and you want to be a bit more sustainable, you can make these little reusable gift bags. So we'll be doing a live sew along of that as well. And then there's just some other bits of inspiration, things that I'm enjoying watching and reading and things like that. So every box has this magazine. Those features will be up on the blog over the next few weeks as well, so that you can have a look. So into the classic box. Every box always has a little haberdashery item to pop in your stash. And this month, everyone got two meters of one centimeter wide black elastic. Um, the reason I chose this one particularly was because it goes with the pattern in the luxury box, but it's always handy to have these kind of things in your stash of haberdashery goodies. So two whole meters there. So that's a lot to play around with. Every box also has a matching reel of Gutterman thread that matches the main colorway. Then this month I got in touch. Actually, it was Liz Harry that got in touch with me. If you have been around for a few months, Liz Harry made us some really beautiful enamel pin badges back in December. And she got in touch asking if she could make us some buttons. And of course I was gonna say yes to that. And when I gave her the theme or when we were sort of throwing ideas around and we came up with bees and honey, she created these absolutely gorgeous, this gorgeous set 
of four enamel buttons. We've got the bee, a pot of honey, a beehive and a flower and they are so cute and I really want to make um, like a plain coloured cardigan and put these on there so that they're a real feature because um, they're so gorgeous and such gorgeous quality as well. Um, I, you would want to use them on quite a heavy weight fabric because they have a bit of weight to them. If you use them on a lightweight woven or jersey then they're going to pull on your fabric so I recommend either a denim, a chambray, um, corduroy or a heavier weight jersey for these or obviously these would also go really sweet on bags and things like that if you want to use those but they are so cute and I am absolutely in love with them. The fat quarters in this month are from a range called Botanical from Craft Cotton Company and you would get this set like this so the classic box has four, the mini box has three and the luxury box has the full set of five. Um, so this one is a really sweet sort of got blotchy yellow and blue with bees and beehives, big bees, little bees, and some floral patterns and designs there as well. This one has a honeycomb pattern to it in yellow and white. I love how it's got a sort of blotchy, like a blotchy pink effect to it. Um, this one has a black background with yellow and blue flowers and beehives as well which is gorgeous. And then this one is just a large scale bee and honeycomb print, which way are we going? <laughs> On a yellow background as well. And then there's another, um, a fifth pattern, which is in the luxury box. So I'll show you that in a minute as well. Now, the fabric in the classic and mini boxes is really different. It's a really different type of fabric. We've never had anything like this in the boxes before. So I was really excited to get them. Let me pop this down here. It is a waffle texture cotton jersey. There are three different colorways. We've got this one, which is a navy. Then we've got a teal and a sage green as well. And it's really, really interesting. So it's quite thick. It's quite a heavyweight jersey, um, but it's got this waffle texture, which is also known as honeycomb. Um, it's a bit more well known as waffle, but it, I have heard it called honeycomb as well, just because of the way it's got this sort of, I don't even know how you would describe it, but yeah, it's this real texture and it's quite thick and it's quite stable as jerseys go. It's only got a small amount of stretch. So actually you could use this for a few woven patterns as well. Gemma and Laura both received this fabric and in, for the magazine and their posts will be up on the blog as well. And they both chose patterns that were more for um, wovens. Gemma chose the Intrepid Boiler Suit from Alice & Co. And Laura made the Pietra Shorts from Closet Core Patterns. Um, so you can see the waffle texture a bit better on the reverse. It's got like a white background, um, a white reverse. And it's so, so gorgeous. I'm planning to make my daughter a little pinafore dress out of this. And I would really like to make myself a little like A-line skirt. I think it's gonna be perfect for autumn and winter with tights and boots and get all cozy. Um, but I can also see it as some cardigans like the Tilly and the Buttons Nora cardigan or like a pullover sort of fitted sweatshirt with, um, or like vest sweatshirt, do you know what I mean? Where you can have a shirt underneath and give your sleeves a bit more attention um, with this kind of thing. So. There you are. That is the three different colorways of the classic fabric and the mini fabric. So the mini gets one meter and the classic box gets two and a half meters. And yeah, as you can see, it's really thick. And when it was folded up for the box, it's pretty hefty. <laughs> but that is the classic box. So now let's move on to the luxury box. So here is the luxury box. And you might have spotted, we got the brand new, just released Tilly and the Buttons pattern. When I heard that the new Tilly and the Buttons was going to be released on the same day as the boxes were due to be delivered, 
it was like fate. I just knew we had to have it in the luxury boxes. So I'm really, really pleased. I did put on um, Instagram and in my newsletter that we would be getting the new Tilly pattern in case anybody um, who had signed up to the luxury box saw this before their box arrived and was then gonna order it and then ended up with two. So um, yeah, it's really gorgeous. It's very different. Um, it's a dress or a blouse. And there is quite a lot going on, especially in the um, version they've done for the blouse. You've got pin tucks going across the um, the chest and on the sleeves, you've got big bishop sleeves and the option of a frill on the shoulder as well and the option of a frill on the collar. Um, but with the dress version they've done, they've sort of stripped all of those bits away. So you've got the dress and the bishop sleeves so I think I love that you can pick and choose the different design details to make it your own. So I'm planning to make this out of the luxury fabric that we've got and I will probably make the dress with the sleeves and then I might add either the shoulder ruffle or the pin tucks across the bust. I haven't quite decided which way I'm gonna do it yet. Um, but yeah, I love that you can take pick and choose those kind of different elements there. So yeah, really exciting to have that. Um, the luxury box obviously also gets the magazine and the elastic, the crunchy, the buttons. The buttons were only in the classic and the luxury boxes, um, so not in the mini boxes. Then we've got the matching Gutterman thread. The fifth fat quarter is this one, which is like a pale sort of it's got that splotchy effect again in sort of a minty green and then it's got a white bee pattern all over it so it's really subtle that one but really really beautiful um, and then the other four fat quarters and then the fabric oh my gosh I cannot wait to make the dress out of this fabric and wear it it is the perfect autumn fabric it's from Atelier Brunette who are a French fabric company and they make the most gorgeous quality viscoses, double gauzes, things like that and this one is beautiful. So it's a viscose twill so it's got that sort of um, the twill weave so there's a little bit of sort of it gives a little like a little extra sheen. It's called twig and it's in this ochre colour and it's so gorgeous. It's got these little twig motifs with sort of paint splotches and I love and it's obviously the colour and the drape is why I chose it for the honey box, the honey themed box because it just looks like honey. It's just gorgeous. It's so soft, so silky. Honestly I cannot wait to get this made. I have a piece at home drying, it's been washed and yeah I cannot wait to put that together with this dress with thick tights boots and a chunky knit cardigan and I think you have got yourself the perfect autumn outfit. So I'm very excited about that. So there we have the September Honey Honey themed boxes. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below which box you received or which box you would like to receive if you're not a subscriber and what you would make with the fabrics. Let's share our ideas. Let everyone know what you think these fabrics could be used for or what you're planning to make. Give this um, video a little like and subscribe if you don't already and I'll see you all really soon. Bye.